Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the game mechanic here with you as always and this is uh, like take 10 because of internet stuff and various problems. So I'm going to do my best to make it uh, fresh and interesting. Uh, we are playing guitar uh, Guitarja today uh, as I will try very hard to pronounce it correctly, Guitarja. Um, and she's a very cool sieve. Uh, lots of lots of interesting implications. Unique frigate. Uh, if you want to do naval dom, Kampung is an awesome one of my favorite tile improvements in the game. You'll see how that works as we start to play the game. Minor adjacency bonuses from coast and lake. Uh, a free pantheon in, if you settle uh, coast or lake. Two faith in your city center is great. Um, and the ability to faith by naval units, which is pretty darn cool. Very, very unique ability. This is our start. We have a single continent. We have lots of lakes, um, a lot of lot of dead tiles, way more than I'm used to. Um, have no idea if this game will be good at all, but we have five sea resources. So it could be a mausoleum slash uh, Huey cap. We're certainly looking for Auckland or Nan Modal. Um, and, uh, and we'll see what happens. I, the, the one real question I have here is whether or not we want to found a religion. And I'm not totally sure. Um, I'm not totally sure if we do or not, but certainly we're going to settle in place, get a 2-2 base, and start with a 3-3 tile, which is pretty darn cool. Um, and, uh, and we'll, and we'll go from there, I guess. And, uh, yeah, and a few breathtaking tiles. Earth Goddess, always super good as, uh, Indonesia with coast and things like that. So, let's go ahead and settle. Found our capital here. Tons of yields, like we're working five food and five production with your first two citizens, uh, or well, first one in your city center, I guess. Um, but uh, that's that that's pretty excellent. That means we're growing and getting our scout the same turn here. Um, so we can kind of go one scout. I think that this is a splintered fractal map. I think going one scout here is fine. Uh, we may run out of room to explore. It, 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 it's arguable that you you should just start with like a warrior or even a slinger and uh, and and try to clear barb camps that way. But I think one scout might be fine. Um, she's also one of the few city sieves that I would start with like a builder, especially with our tiles. Even though we have a fantastic spice tile and our first citizen here is great, each additional one beyond that without a builder is not super good. So an early builder here is fine. I also one of the few sieves I would start with a um. I would start with a monument, depending on how much land you have, because having strong culture economy gets you two Jongs uh, very, very early. Jongs, instead of being in the science tree, are over here in mercenaries, um, and so getting there fairly quickly is uh, is is a nice priority. Uh, I don't really want to go explore north. That's probably where the warrior will wind up anyways. Uh, I've seen a tiny little shred of tundra, plus it looks like this is all coast. Um, so probably going southward with this warrior to look for more settleable land. Uh, and then early districting, we have a plus three campus over here, two for the reef, and then it's next to three coast slash lake tiles, but the three doesn't mean anything. It's just the multiples of two that matter. Uh, so that's a plus three campus, which is pretty darn good. Um, also probably looking for some form of holy site somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I guess I may not found a religion if there's no real reason to. Uh, I was thinking we would go, we would, we would, but it, it might just turn into one of those games where I'm trying to do too many things, uh, and that could be bad. I think discovering horses here is valid. We might have horses on some of these tiles, and frankly, it might b block our um, district placement. So that could actually be more of a problem than a good thing. Uh, we could also go try to beeline right for, like, hope that we get the writing Eureka and go right for that plus three campus, especially since we do need a lot of science in order to even get here to our uh, Kempungs or things like that. But I think I'm going to start with sailing just so I can get a galley. Um, just so I can like get some tiles improved over here, get some housing, get some production, things like that. I'll just start with sailing. Uh, going sailing directly into shipbuilding is fine with Guitarja, just because you do unlock the Kampung. Um, and we definitely want to look for a place for the pyramids. The pyramids is important in every single game, but doubly so with Guitarja, just because uh, you will have so many tiles to improve with your your Kampungs and things. So, um, so let's start with with sailing and 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 see where we go. I will start with the scout. Just I might regret it later, but. I really like scouts early on. So lots of production over here, actually. The the move down that was suggested would have actually been really good, getting the uh, plus four uh, harbor here instead of the plus three that we were looking at over here. Um, and actually, we would have moved towards all of these very, very nice tiles. Actually would have made a much, much better cap to just settle this. Um, but hey, we didn't. So it is what it is. Uh, 
Um, okay. So that's an excellent tile. We do have uh, we do have some desert over here. So pyramids, as I just said, uh, it's, could be on the table for us. That's good. Not finding a ton of really high appeal tiles, even with the uh, the forest here with the with that. Um, could settle down this. This this is um, this is a plus five tile, meaning I think that that is a plus one base, plus one, plus one, and then two coast. This could certainly be double coast down here. I'm not sure. Um, but okay land to, to expand to so far. Oh, um, somebody here and a volcano here actually. Uh, but we do see somebody here, somebody, somebody, I don't know, maybe city state, maybe, maybe somebody else we'll see. Um, uh, but a lot of like intermittent desert here. I hope we don't have too much of it. Uh, but having a spot for pyramids is great. Oh, oh! Speaking of flat desert, Nazca. Um, oh, and we're a first meet there. S cool. So we start with we have four faith per turn already. We are already getting um, we're already getting two. How do I show that to you all? City center plus two right there. So that's that's from our ability, and then we get two more now. So we actually have four faith per turn already. We could even look at maybe faith buying that galley. We'll see. That would save us some um, stuff in our production queue. Do I try to explore around them? Looks like they're in between stuff. Might even be worth taking over. Volcano here is interesting. I probably don't scout them for goody huts. I may regret this, but I want to go see what other land we have. Volcano. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So we'll finish up this scout. I, I kind I'm dying to see what's here, and actually we're seeing cliffs. So I wonder if that's an, a significant volcano. That's not Kilimanjaro or anything. I hope not. Um, can you make Nazca lines and then kill Nazca and keep them? Yeah, it sounds like it, I, from ch from what chats told me, uh, it's yes. Uh, I definitely want Earth Goddess in a game like this. Getting getting a nice faith economy, especially in our first two settles. If we come down and settle this, it seems fine. Uh, and I may need to scout that out, actually, with the warrior. Maybe Petra? Look, seeing already four tiles here for Petra. Five if we include this. And I guess we'll send this guy north. Just try to get a feel for the land. And we'll start a settler right away. So again, as I said, our first tile's fantastic. Every tile thereafter, pretty weak. Um, not, not, exactly, uh, not exactly killing it with this... Uh, flat wheat tile there but our first uh first goodie head of the day i'm not going to delay it for this guy to come find it although we can explore with him first there's one for him Ooh, this is like really flat over there that that does not look spicy mysticism that is a huge bummer that is something that we are going to trigger in two turns anyways uh so that is a useless goodie hut You know, with the um, the settler on the way, it actually makes more sense to work those tiles instead of the food tile. Uh, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't really want population either. That's a good tile. Let's work all the production. I, I want to make this move. Okay, I was going to say I want to make that move to see what's what. We do have a second continent. That's kind of, that, that's interesting. This is splintered fractal, so it's definitely weird. There's our Pantheon that we just triggered the Eureka for a second ago. Um, yeah, certainly a Petra, maybe. Maybe in here? So let's go ahead and select. Really, the only choice for me is Earth Goddess in this map. So at this point, I, I think working the faith tiles are fine. Uh, we add in a bunch of faith per turn here now. We can work the default yields. That is good. We have 10 faith per turn, which is great. Two from our city center, two from here, and then obviously the uh, six from that. We'll need to bring this warrior back around to clear this pretty quick. Love this jersey color. I do too. It's pretty nice.
Hmm. Let's move the scout first. So mountains galore. Wow, double mountain here. Pretty interesting land. I, w I don't know if I call it good, but things are happening. Yeah, I should go back and clear that camp. Get started on it. With the sun shining brightly, then dusk's mist falls. So that's a little weird because we're not really going to be going for generals or merchants. But that's certainly a cool wonder, especially with uh, if you want to put holy sites around it. It's certainly one of the fun ones for that. <laughs> What's up, Bed? How you doing? And that triggers astrology for us. Still looks like we're on a fairly small landmass. I don't mind that. Look at this is very interesting land. Three turns on our settler. It doesn't change it at all, so let's leave it alone. How much is our first? Oh, we'll, we'll know next turn how much our first uh, galley is to faith by. I certainly might be doing that. Vessel is large, mate. 130. Okay. Free envoy is okay. Hmm. I think we can make the best of this island. Do I want to found a religion now that we have the Eureka for it? It might not be a terrible idea. I really want to get to our galleys and start exploring. I think I'd actually prefer an early campus to early holy sites. I think we can get plenty of faith out of Earth Goddess and not have to found a religion. I'm just not sure what the religion is doing for us. It gives us a little religious tourism uh, for having like a, uh, a, a holy city. It's charming. That's only two. This is three. I don't really have a spot for a great holy site, to be perfectly honest. I have a plus two here. I've got a plus two here. I've got a plus three eventually here. Now, that plus three is interesting because it would actually put Earth Goddess on both of these tiles. But if I ever decide to mine this, it gets worse. Um, yeah, our capital really only having one, two, three, four, five, six good tiles is a bummer, but we can mitigate that with Kempungs. I can't get through here, huh? So the plan then is for the scout to come explore this, see what's going on here, and then head off to this other continent uh, while our warrior clears this and then maybe comes up here and explores what's in the tundra. I'm going after that campus, I think. I think getting an early quality campus is going to help us a lot. It is not wisdom. Um, it's possible that I can get through here. Ooh, okay. Heal here is plus five. All right, we're gonna have to plan out a Petra. That's that's definitely something we're gonna we're gonna need to do here. Nice, Annie. I like that. So what do we think? I really like forward settling Nazca. We could just kind of settler explore here. Probably not a lot of probably not a, another barb camp this close to it. So fairly safe. Because otherwise, what, what are we settling? Nothing really worth rushing to over here. Sure, that spice tile's nice. There might be a very nice city here, actually. Um, floodplains underneath the volcano. Oh, come over here, you mean? For Petra? Like here? We'll look at that in a minute. Ooh, Zhao! 
Thank you for the 50 bits. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think I like this forward settle. It looks like we're going to have good tiles. Ooh. Maybe we're coming down here? Hmm. Hmm. I could wait till foreign trade, save our faith, and build two galleys. Gives me enough time to either get another settler. Actually, we're going to grow in two. Um, I think I want a builder now. Yeah, I think the builder makes sense. Uh, I just don't know what our scout is finding, and we only have one of them. So normally I'm a big fan of survey, especially when we have two scouts. Two scouts can often turn into three scouts, uh, etc. But I think I'm just going to take discipline and try to just protect our land with a minimal amount of military uh, without having to rush into archers. I don't think I'm fi fitting rushers, uh, <laughs> archers into our tree right now. And of course we get to skip this, which is very, very nice. Anonymous, thank you for gifting us up over to Moz. Welcome in, Moz. Thank you very much, and thank you so much for all of the gifted subs this month. What a crazy, awesome month. Thank you, everybody. I hope we get to end it strongly here today with solid internet. We'll see. I'm just going to get up on the hill. This thing hasn't found me, but I'd rather have the de defensive terrain just in case something happens. So one thing I don't want to do here is take tiles from this potential mausoleum that we're building in the cap. But at the same time, I might have to. I guess I could settle this. The only tile we take from the cap is this plus the lake. But that seems a little awkward. It is Earth Goddess, which is great. Hey, Chris. Welcome in, dude. Hung. Not sure how I feel about that. Do you guys think I can get through here? It's five five appeal for this tile. So it's base one minus one. Then one, two, three, four, five. So this could be a woods or a mountain. Um I think we'll just go around. Settle the mini lake for, yeah. Yeah, I guess finding out the Petra. I still think coming down here is okay. We haven't really veered off course too much. Let's go ahead and heal. I'm just going to have, oh, okay, all right. Nice, 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 nice. More land here. So I can I can do all the things that I wanted to. We'll settle over here eventually, probably. Like, this is a probably a pyramid city in there. Somewhere. Do I ever pay attention to AI suggested settle tiles? I certainly don't, know. I don't think I ever have, uh, although I will say that's something that's gotten pretty bad. I would not follow the uh, AI settle recommendations currently. I hope that city that we're moving to has some amount of production. This doesn't have to be mausoleum, our cap. It, it certainly doesn't. It just would make sense to get fisheries in the lake and have mausoleum in the same spot since this is a big old lake. I, I settled in, in Monza. I, well, whether I settle them or not means I don't pay. I, I, the, the question was, do I pay attention to them? And the answer is no. See, I didn't even know that I settled, settled uh, a suggested spot in the Monza game. How, how about this earth goddess down here? This is this is awkward AF, uh, and actually we could rush over here and settle this city to grab that. But um... no somos Felipe, <laughs> de y hello Felipe. Empero, por encima de todo, somos fieles devotos de la única y verdadera religión. 
Oh, wow. He is pretty darn close, isn't he? I might settle this. Actually, that's a suggestion from the AI. Uh, huh. He real close. I thought Clay must... Okay, another city-state first meet, send trade route, eventually train a heavy chariot. I think I'm gonna settle here, which actually is the AI suggestion. Uh, reason being, like, good amount of workable tiles, I could buy that right away for Earth Goddess purposes. Uh, I think I like this just fine. We work a really good tile like that to begin. And I'll start with a granary. Yeah, that that's a little aggressive. I obviously, my whole intent wasn't to do that, but we'll see what happens with him. We'll see what happens. Make sure the tile I bought is a campus. It's plus five, it's under a volcano. Um, it's actually plus six, it's under a volcano. That could be the campus. I don't think I want to put it under the volcano. We'll see. I don't know. I'll, I'll work on districts later. Right on the left. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Look at all this earth goddess goodness. <laughs> this is really troll. Oh, well. So seven turns until foreign trade, at which time I think I'll build a couple ships. I could definitely see getting a couple slingers to get over here and defend, as we have fairly aggressively forward settled him. Uh, this, this could be an act of provocation just for AI purposes. I think I like that. I think I'm going to get a couple slingers, even though I really don't want to go to archers. This, if we settle as a, a warrior here with a galley and then two archers on the on the hills, it's actually super, super defensible. Um, so as long as I can do that in time, we should be okay there. <laughs> as I said, as I said, deity AI aggression. It was a very aggressive forward settle. He, he, he has a right to be mad, and, and I don't say that much. Guess I should improve that tile first, huh? I don't see a problem in exploring all this just to have all the information I can. I can triple move back to here and then get through all this afterwards. Any chance he would have captured my settler? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, we're at 13 of 25 error score. We'd certainly want to hit a monumentality golden age here. Major drought. And then I said I wanted the uh, the warrior to come explore over there. I think that's still true, even though Spain is you know, kind of there and could potentially be a problem. Doing a little build exploring. Great bath is gone. This all this land pretty bad. Pretty bad. What happens if you settle under a volcano and it erupts on your cap? Uh, you probably lose citizens and damage buildings and things. 
Uh, settling on a volcano is certainly uh, a risky gambit. It's a plus, f this is what, plus two, four, five, six, plus six campus. Yeah, I wanted to improve wheat and then I got excited by build exploring. <laughs> I have an attention span that can be measured in nanoseconds. So this is the spicy star blue wings. Yeah, we might be dead. I might not be able to recover from this. Even if I bring this guy back now, we're probably looking at buying another warrior. We're certainly in trouble, though. This could be just all bad. Good news is he'll get kicked out. And I probably need to go right for archery now. I'm going to faith buy a ship here. That's one of our unique abilities. That is excellent. Uh, and that's going to bolster this city quite a bit. As far as combat strength wise. And then I'm looking to buy a warrior to supplement that. And try to get my slingers around. It's very important to explore the coast. To figure out what the heck we're doing with settles. There's a lot of amber in this map. Which is great. If we can just survive this uh, initial push. We'll be in good shape. Look at this canal. Look at this glorious canal city. That, that is, that is, I mean, that is a canal that could save you potentially, like, dozens of turns with your navy. I love that. That's fantastic. That's the positive aspect. Do that. It's just a canal city. Like, uh, so there are, you can actually build canals, but what I'm talking about, uh, Chris, is putting a city there, and then your, your, your naval units are free to move from the city center out to this side or from the city center out to that side. So it saves you tons of turns. Uh, this is what people mean when they say canal city, although you can actually build canals now. Brussels. Brussels is a first meet. Meaning that Pangea may be all mine. So really the trick of this is just surviving this uh, early game. All right, there's our irrigation settle. And certainly we want to go towards our uh, spice... Improvement, anyways. Again, I want to explore all the coast. I need to be able to, to plan out our cities properly. So I'm sort of doing some what looks like inefficient exploring with my uh, scout, but I think it's actually valuable. All right, I was originally thinking that we were going to build some um, galleys, but since Spain is here, I don't think that's on the docket anymore. We need to do more uh, aggressive things. We have three slingers now, so those can hopefully turn into archers, especially if we save our money. Um, what else could help us with this? Actually, frankly, some extra gold. So getting a trader here, uh, I don't know if it'll be able to go all the way to Nazca, but making a road even there is fine. I should have actually explored one more turn down just to make that trader viable. So we actually have some nice coastal cities if we can uh, if we can just survive this early game. That would be fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the crabs just for the last Eureka or the last uh, tile improvement. For our craftsmanship boost.
And I want to get another settler soon so we can go settle the wonder slash a new continent. Uh, and that, that'll pretty much secure our golden age if we can get there. I'm going to work that tile. I don't think our cap wants to. One, two, three, four. No, not really. So we'll have them use work it, get us a little extra gold, and uh, and then grow a little faster. All right, don't heal me. Um, It's really dangerous to move this slinger here. And buy a warrior. So I'm not going to do that. Become such a better player since you start watching your video. Awesome, Mike. Well, thank you. I I, I appreciate that, the, that that's a correlation for you. Huzzah. Huzzah. And congratulations. I'm really glad. I, I love sp spreading the knowledge of Civ. I, I, I just love Civ. Such a nerd. Not saving cash for the Archer upgrades? Uh, no. He only has one place to attack here, and I think we've actually uh, showed him showed showed him enough of our big uh, our big you know ape butts to uh, to to fight off this war. I don't think he's going to come and attack me right away. I could absolutely be wrong, uh, and he could prove that any second now. It's another goody hut. Very nice. Request. Brussels is not what we want to see. We do want to see uh, Auckland if we can. Auckland and Nan. He said famous last words. Remember I said about the uh, moving the slinger out there? I figured the slinger moving there would be a provocation uh, and the slinger would pretty much die instantly. Now we can kind of mess with him with the warrior. If there are no dogs. Because we can make him chase us. Which hopefully he'll do. Uh, and I have six turns. Very, very awkward. I can't really move in and defend this super well. I'm going to go ahead and get my second galley. Send this one off to explore. And then it looks like... I'm going to send this in reverse. Why not take the slinger shot there? I think it just makes his uh I think it makes his promotion come faster. I'm trying to think. So if assuming that there's no XP on this guy, uh if it attacks me one more time. Actually, I think I get two shots off. Let's try. I think that slinger shot does make a little sense. Alright, we can't ignore this stuff forever. So now the focus is on the war. There's a uh, archer upgrade. Backstabiverse, thank you for the 14 months. Welcome on back. Hey, caught you live. Haven't been able to do that for a while. <laughs> Happier Still here. Still watching the UTBUEs, though. <laughs> I am thrilled about that. Thank you very much, Backstabberverse. Welcome back for 14 months. Welcome back into the shop. Good to have you here. Okay, he did leave. Oh, I don't think we're going to get there in time, you guys. This is bad news, bears. Can't do anything here. Again, so I, I'm drawing troops off with that warrior with that move, which is rather nice. I do have the archery, Eureka. I don't know how I got it. I 
I really need that guy to have garrison. Okay. The best combat bonus I have is keeping the galley in the city to maximize the strength of the city center. Can't actually get out with it. You cannot move the city. You cannot move the slinger. Why oh, hit the warrior on the hill? Just curious. Cause it, cause then they can't double attack me. That 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 could very well be true. Oh, cause the promotion. That makes sense too. I was thinking more cause that double attack. Okay, I don't know if we did it or not. I I still think I'm dying. Actually, I think I think we lose that city. so risky to leave this. Got him one turn off of archery too. Um, I think he gets through, doesn't he? If I want to take it back, I have to cede it to him, right? Like I, I do this. And we just give it to him. I think with the uh, galley there, it makes sense. So now he takes it. May the forces of evil. And then I can get another galley to retake it. Whoo, boy. What a start. Can't do anything with that trade route. Because if we would have left our units in here, they, they both would have died when he took it. And we would have lost a galley and a slinger. So we have to kind of seed it and then take it back. Uh, I think I want the science here with my first envoy. I could also save the Brussels suzerain if we need it. And actually we might. So I'm going to hold on my, uh, I'm going to hold my envoy at the moment. Writing is easy. My city, man. It's mine. Okay. So what if we made some archers and went and took the city? <laughs> Horses, huh? So we found some. Did we find any up here? No. Okay. That's good. 
I want them to grow. Okay, so that's not too bad. We benefited there from the fact that this was actually really bottlenecked and very difficult for him to take. So our defensive trains uh, suited us nicely. Would have been even more defensive to settle here, but obviously it worked out. Um, so that is a good thing. Oh. You look like you are Mount Kilimanjaro. So that'll be more era score, plus we'll meet another city-state, so that's good. We're still looking for a little bit of era score. We'll probably find it. Three turns on the granary, then we get a campus, and we wait till next era to expand with uh, monumentality, I guess. A lot of lakes on this map. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. We could also go right for our harbors. Again, I think I'm out on the religion. Although no one's no one's doing it. This is a standard map. I'm us I usually play small maps, but this is a standard size map. So there are five religions in this game, as opposed to the typical, um, as opposed to the typical four. But I just don't know what the religion's doing for us. It's really not much. We get most of our faith from Earth Goddess anyways. We can still build holy sites. It's just like the actual benefits I don't I don't think are there. Plaza in the middle of the campus. Yeah, over here. Make one there. I could see that. We'll see. Ah, thank you. Yes, we will remember our traitor. Thank you, Reggae. You're the best, man. I'll send that in reverse. And I want our campungs. Uh, actually, is that true? Crusade's a benefit. Crus Crusade's pretty terrible on deity, if I'm being honest. I want pyramids real bad. Irrigation's an interesting option as well. The walls I care less about. More, I more care about the pyramids. I'm looking for a, a quarry. And then a spot to put our uh, Petra. Yeah, the end of the era is triggered. We have four era score needed in seven turns. Uh, I mean, it, it it doesn't matter what Civ you are. Crusade on Deity is is really bad. Um, so the fact that the AI gets so much, so many benefits. Look at this. Look at this time to freaking fix this. Um, the AI gets a ton of benefits to their own faith generation. So that the idea that you're going to have spread all of your religion and you have enough resources to build an army and then conquer somebody with it, pretty, pretty, pretty. It's it, it's a lot of hoops to jump through. Let's just say that. Am I going to move my navy around Canal Galore? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. As it turns out, Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled. So I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. Jar's been in a lot of my games recently. So there they are. With Cahokia, we, we can also meet somebody here. That will be Eriscore as well. Oh, dear. So this is English, Eleanor, yeah? No, this is French, Eleanor. Um, okay, well, that's a bummer. Especially from a loyalty perspective. We may have to kill her at some point. The crown says it all. Okay, I'll pay attention to that next time. Um, And she was speaking French. That That's the real giveaway. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I need two air score. We actually have it in our back pocket with Brussels if we want it, but we don't have to take it yet. We may find it naturally. And better to save it for the next era.
Yeah, I, I will I will probably upgrade to archers. We don't have the money for it, nor the gold per turn to really sustain it. Koki is his send trade route. I really want to come back and explore this, but it feels like it's not going to be super worth it. Okay, well, so originally, I was thinking that this was going to be Kampung culture victory. We have two very, very tough culture opponents in this game so far, and that may be an invitation to pivot. Jongs look really hard on this map. There's not a lot of, like, other than this one canal city that'll enable a lot of stuff, it looks like they're all, like, all of their city centers are sort of on this other side. I, I'm not really sure if that's good or not. It may not be a Jong game either. I don't know what this game is going to be. I could always kill them and then still do culture. That's always an option. My poor galleys have literally no place to go. Like, I need a city. It's actually really, really awkward. I just do what chat votes on Vransom. Chat voted for uh, Splintered Fractal, so that's where we're at. Yeah, these galleys have literally nowhere to go because of the uh, ice caps. That sucks. All right, let's um What gives one error score? Goody huts. He's got iron. Um. Hmm. So what if that were this? I'm thinking about it, Sub-Zero, to be honest. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. But I just don't know what our direction is. I guess I guess we're okay. Yeah, a lot of people calling for rerolls. Um, I did I did like that Wales game. Five turns on this, six turns on a campus. I mean that works out pretty perfectly. Yeah, there's a good amount of space. It is a standard size. Yeah, it's okay for science. I'm not a big fan of science here. No, I don't mind that we have all this space. I, I like that. But it doesn't really feel like a Guitarja game. I mean, this is all settleable. Depends how fast we can get down here, I guess. Yeah, time for a cut on the YouTube anyways while we decide if this is the game for us or not. So 
Uh, if you're watching on YouTube and you're seeing this, that means it is. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.